Okay. Um, hello and welcome to the uh, Irony Show podcast. I have the host, Triangle Man, and uh, Sh- have to wait. Sh- oh. <laughs> and Shazam Man. Duh. <laughs> That's broken. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Uh, yes, I am indeed your host. Um, before we get started, uh, how's it going, boys? I smashed this clock six right. times and it's still alive. <laughs> oh, wait, now it's dead. That? Nope, wait. Nope, it still works. <laughs> right. How many times are you gonna do it before it just explodes? I don't know. Oh, that's in the front of it, so... <laughs> just, just, like, just, like, smash it randomly during the recording. <laughs> just, like, any time we get out, out of case, like... Hey! That's <laughs> not... <laughs> yeah, this... this... this is done. There you go. There you go. Take this out back and shoot it in the back of the head. <laughs> I think you've done it enough. No, 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 I need to go take it to the range. Go. <sighs> America. Uh, I'm uh, Canadian too! It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's North America. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I go down there. We should get to a topic now, maybe. Yeah, yeah we we're should. about like, what? Two minutes in? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... What's our first topic? Well, first of all, we're being a bit more organized now. We're breaking this up into sections of topics. Mm -hmm. So, we have, right now, gaming topics, internet-related topics. Some of that goes kind of hand-in-hand. And IRL topics. So, IRL meaning in real life. Uh, so how about we get the politics stuff out of the way first, shall we? Okay. (laughs) All right, so apparently Donald Trump is going to be meeting with the (laughs) supreme leader of North Korea himself, Kim Jong-un. Pick up. Yeah. And... I heard this was happening on May 5th, I think, or May... Oh, my birthday! Around there. <laughs> I swear, if you stop recording... Don't you dare stop uh, recording. No we, we've come this okay. far. <laughs> we finally got to one topic. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, we before recording this uh, this version of the of the recording. We've recorded about like four or five others and we had to stop each each one for like different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I don't think so we really want to Trump... name the reasons. What? I don't think we really want to name the reasons. Yeah, because they're just kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I could name one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. <laughs> and it wasn't that clock. It was me playing Hotline Miami and getting way too immersed in the game. <laughs> Just oh, e, ha, ho. Uh, I love right, how, back on topic. <laughs> I love how we All right, okay. introduce the topic and we're already off topic. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, okay. back to t- the topic. Donald Trump is visiting Supreme Leader of North Korea, Kim Jong Un. What are your opinions on that? Uh, I'm kind of mixed. To be honest, because like, there's some there's some good that can come out of it. Like, maybe the whole feud between America and North Korea can finally stop. And the bad being, this could possibly just make it worse. Yeah. So, yeah. and if that becomes worse, we all have to deal with it. <laughs> Not I just mean... Trump. Dear God, <laughs> the, uh, what no, a I'm, political climate we live in. <laughs> yeah, I'm intentionally uh, 
anti PC, politically correct. Yeah. <laughs> As, so I, I kind of made a joke of it. Uh, I'm about to throw some shade. Is that okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. I mean, maybe um, Kim Jong un and Donald Trump will become friends and they can trade big red nuke buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Trump can hold on to uh, Kim's and uh, Kim can All hold on to Trump's. <laughs> it's like Hot Wheels cars. Instead, it's nuclear nuclear detonation buttons. Yeah, I think that could just destroy the world in a second, but you know, it's all good. They even got the little packaging. Go to Walmart or whatever and pick them up for like two dollars. <laughs> just goes to pick up. Uh... A uh, nuclear missile button at fucking Walmart. <laughs> Trump, uh, Trump edition and Kim Jong Un edition. <laughs> Let's not forget our our other I get uh, not other Lord, Lord and Savior, but our, our meme Lord and Savior Vladimir Putin edition. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course, cannot forget about Vladimir Putin edition. <laughs> it's just got hit. It's just got that. That statue, that statue of him riding a bear shirtless. <laughs> I, I, was th- I was thinking it would just be like a stock picture of the communist flag. <laughs> ah, <laughs> but, but the the bear one's probably actually funnier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. By the way, this is going to be a short episode because, well, both I've, I was kind of blazing around for half the week and yeah um we're kind of strapped for time so about four topics all right i have work that's that's why i wasn't here (laughs) yeah and all right so were we kind of done with that (laughs) yeah (laughs) well i love how we just kind of like the entire topic, we were just kind of taking the piss out of it. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> not say serious at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, welcome to the Iron Sh- the Irony Show podcast, guys. If you're new here, this is basically what we do. We th- we can't take anything seriously. <laughs> nope. Yeah. It's impossible. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Next topic, this is going into the internet-related topics. Um, Infowars apparently is being sued by uh, the creator of Pepe the Frog. Yeah. So, here, let me explain that. Now, I just want to say something. This is a bit off-topic, but a second ago I was thinking about making a turn the friggin' frogs gay joke. And I had nothing, and I had no idea about this Infowars getting sued topic. I didn't know that he was getting sued by Pepe the Frog. <laughs> the frog himself. Like, just really, goes though? I don't, I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? <laughs> Sick of this crap. Alright. So, um, in this little article written by CNN, um, they talk about how, oh, hold on, my cat's being weird. (sighs) Middle of recording. I'll just be a second. Here we go. Hey, it's National Women's Day, you gotta respect no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> yeah, something's gonna go wrong. I'm back. I save myself. <laughs> so, sorry, I had to, um, I had to stop midway. To, not stop the recording, but I had to just S- step away for a second. Yeah. Anyways, okay. so in this article written by CNN, um, yeah. I talk about how. A lawsuit was filed Monday alleging that there was copyright infringement um, coming from a, a st- not st- um, from a poster sold on the website of Infowars 
the the poster was being sold for twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents. The poster features um, it features Pepe, Trump, and a bunch of. Uh, to be honest, I don't know a lot of these people besides the man himself, Alex Jones. He's in this picture as well. But yeah. Um, so first, first of all, <laughs> this this topic admittedly is kind of <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> shouldn't be real. <laughs> it, sh it shouldn't. It like, shouldn't. It, this is a real thing, guys. This is a real thing. <laughs> and I don't know how so. I feel about this. <laughs> so, um. What's ill? Um. So, Alex himself, uh, himself um, came out to say, and I'm gonna quote him We did not create the posters. <laughs> that, are, that are protected speech that are transformative, Jones says. And yeah, I did just read exactly that off the CNN article. <laughs> <laughs> so copyright. <clears throat> we're we're gonna Point get taken rhythm. down either way. Your video, this video, has been copyrighted, has been taken down for. A copyright claim from CNN's news. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm going to uh, probably link our sources. Well, I should start doing that anyways. Should have done that since the beginning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, he did say it was from CNN, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You might want to do that just to be safe. Yeah. So yeah, this entire thing is just kind of hilarious in my opinion it's like you wouldn't expect all this to come from like a meme essentially yeah <laughs> like I, I guess yeah we had weirder things like like the cash me outside girl turning her one little little uh little uh Same. second in the spotlight yeah. Into an entire, entire career essentially, with like music and YouTube and all of that. Her six words of fame. Who wouldn't known it would have brought her this far? <laughs> that's that's. Uh... But yeah, I, I, is... I counted right, right? Count, catch um, me outside. How about that? That's six, yeah. yes. Un unless okay. you were to separate out inside, but that's not supposed to be separated in this <coughs> context, so... No. Yeah, the, the, this entire thing is about as stupid as as uh, that. Like, th this entire drama coming out of a meme is that stupid, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, what do you guys, what do you guys think? I Pepe is Lord and Savior. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Pepe just got pissed because he, he, he got mad that they thought they were putting chemicals in the water to turn the freaking <laughs> frogs gay. <laughs> Pouring chemicals in the water that turning the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Anyways, uh, anything else really to say? Um, let's see. Um. Spooky shit. Yeah, I do. I do believe there is, like, that there should there should be freedom of speech, obviously, with this. But at the same time, it's like I it's likely not. They they 
likely didn't get any sort of like licensing deals or anything. Because mm -hmm. if they did, why would the guy? Why would the creator of Pepe be suing them in the first place? Honestly. Um. Anyways. Uh. All right. So what's up next? Let's see. Should we talk about um? Nintendo's new Nintendo Direct. I'll save yes. my topic for last. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we shall move on to that. So, Nintendo released a new Nintendo Direct video. Basically, if you guys don't know what Nintendo Direct is, it's essentially this whole video series they have where they announce, like, for example, a new game new, like, DLC, anything like that, or provide updates to a game that's coming out. And, yeah, so we're going to talk about what they featured in this new Direct. And I, and I got some uh, uh, non-edited-in sound effects that I can play for the reactions to some of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do we have all? So we have the the one I'm most hyped for, even though I don't have a Switch. Um, Super either. Smash Bros. on the Switch. Yes, my friend owns a Switch. I will go over to his house and play it. <laughs> <laughs> now the one thing I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of confused about, and I'm, I imagine a lot of people are confused about this, is is it just a port of the Wii U and 3DS? Uh, yeah, that's what everyone's Bros. thinking. What? That's what everyone's thinking. Yeah. Ah. I mean, still, Smash Bros. on the Switch, it'd still be nice to play. I mean, they'll True. probably... They might, I have no idea, but they could introduce, like, a, some sort of motion controls with those joystick... Joy-Cons, or what they're called? Yeah, yeah Joy-Cons. Joy yeah. I should know this, because there's a Payday 2 character being released called joy <laughs> joy <laughs> joy the uh, amount of oh uh, go ahead this okay so if they if they are uh just porting the the um Wii U and Sm and um 3DS versions i hope they at least add some like new unlockable characters and all that or at least include the the um, ones that are already DLC. Yep. <clears throat> so, if I get this, I'll finally be able to to play as Cloud. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I, I, you know what I feel like is gonna happen? I'm gonna call I'm gonna call up my friend and I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna be like, hey, can I come over and play the Nintendo Switch? I'm like, you're tw and he's probably gonna respond with, you're 26, you have a job, go buy one. <laughs> <laughs> like, money's tight. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not... All right. So what else did they? I'm rolling in dough. <laughs> what else did they announce? Um, I didn't watch it. The only thing I watched is people reacting to the Smash Br Smash Bros reveal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that that is funny. Um, I can I have a few clips on my phone of people reacting. If you want me to play it real quick, <laughs> nah, that's that's good. That's okay. good. Okay. I mean, it is pretty funny. Other all just like, oh, oh my, god oh, like tables. Um, <laughs> se uh, send me the link to them. I'll try and include them in the in the recording. Okay, I'll see if I can find a link on YouTube, because this is on Twitter. I'm not sure what you can do with it, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do anything with it then. Unless right. I can find uh, a uh, Twitter to MP4 uh, website or something. Let me see. Smash Pro Switch Reaction. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, my reaction was kind of just like, well, holy shit, they're actually doing it. Yeah, especially with the Splatoon thing, I thought it would, uh, I thought they'd have that in there, but I think they might. Uh, uh the Splatoon fellas, I don't know what they're called. Yeah, um... Kid Squids. 
Are you kid or are you squid? Uh, yeah, what are they called? I don't know. Google it. Google it. Yeah, Google. I somebody saying it, but I forgot what it was. Google.ca. Right. Google is our savior. What the, in what the fuck is those character from, Sli from Splatoon called? Splatoon. <laughs> I spelled splat wrong. And you're 26. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Inkling. They're called Inklings. Oh, yeah. She asked it. Yeah. It was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah. I would have gone with Squid Kid, but Inkling sounds a lot better. <laughs> Squid, uh, Squid Kid just sounds beautiful. That, sound, that sounds like the, the sidekick to, like, Aquaman or something. Aquaman! <laughs> Aquaman, now with his new sidekick, Squid Kid. <laughs> and it's just like it's just one of the Splatoon characters. <laughs> and now, guest starring Pepsi Man. <laughs> <laughs> the backstory behind that in the Discord server, there's just a photo of Pepsi Man. Just <laughs> put it up on screen Pepsi now. Because I was yeah. drinking Pepsi and I spilled the it. Con yeah, I was about to say the context behind that. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. What else did they announce aside from Splatoon? And I, I did watch the video, but uh, I probably should have uh, taken notes of what they announced. So Nintendo. let me let me Google. <laughs> yeah, Google, Google is the most too. reliable place. Nintendo Direct. Uh... All right. Switch news. Wait, what? What? Uh, reporting Dark Souls? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. Dark Souls? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, everyone's just going to start dying on the Switch it, as well. It's nice that, um... It's nice that Nintendo is actually willing to include more mature games now. So, they did have yeah. a few, like, they had Call of Duty um, on, like, the Wii U, the Wii, DS, but those all had no blood in it, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 on the Wii U. Oh, um, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember now. Also, there was Batman Arkham that had. Oh, yeah. I mean that wasn't exactly violent, but yeah. But yeah, um, I'm about true. to make a Dark Souls joke. Uh, hold Joy Cons in a Y position. Praise the sun. <laughs> Praise the sun. Praise it like it's your Lord and Savior. <laughs> Praise uh, the sun. Praise um, Undertale sun. is going to be ported. Uh, South Park. What? Fractured butthole. Oh. Really? Fractured butthole. What? Uh, to be honest, I kind of want to play that game, but at the same time, I don't. I don't know. Honestly. Yeah. I've, I haven't. I don't watch South Park. I don't. I don't do anything. I don't. I don't live. <laughs> uh, what are the characters' names again? We have like Kenny. Cartman. Uh, Tweak. Yeah, I don't watch too. South Park, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Like the mo like, of all the animated comedy shows, the most I've watched was an entire twelve seasons of Family Guy. <laughs> I don't. I don't is, is, watch that, is that not sad? It's it's a tiny bit sad, just a tiny bit. I don't I don't I don't watch TV. I, I play video games. <laughs> yeah, I watch the entire twelve seasons on like, on uh, Netflix almost back to back. Like over a few weeks, I don't know why. I just found it so funny for some reason. <laughs> this this was like two years ago, by the way. So I was a bit, I was a bit more of an of an idiot than I am now. Even though I am admittedly kind of an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, um, we just got off topic. Yep. Once yeah. Again. And I, and I, every single time. Yes. 
It happened last time. <laughs> yeah. this, this podcast in one sentence. We just got off topic. We should just rename it from the. We should just rename it from the Irony Show podcast to the Off Topic podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be we, more fitting, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All um, right. So, what else? Uh, uh, do you want me to bring up my topic? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce this like a pyrocynical video, so let me stand up real quick. Yeah, my right. friends! My, oh, God. My Stop. Indi- Stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I won't do the British voice. Aw, please. Please do it. My please. friendly individuals, I have news for you. Something has risen from the grave that we thought would stay dead. <laughs> But somehow <laughs> breathes new life. Oh god. I'm shaking, taking off some sunglasses, even though I don't have sunglasses. Paladins <laughs> is being played uh, once again. <laughs> yes. And it's, and it's stealing from PUBG this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, so there was an update for Paladins, <laughs> and they added a new game mode called Battlegrounds. Hmm, that sounds oh, familiar, did. doesn't it? And basically, the whole premise of the game is you're dropped into an area, you have to find weapons, you have to find power-ups, and all that. It's basically like... It's basically Fortnite without building. It's just... Oh my god. So hey, you, know the, you know what's PUBG. the... Yeah. Except it's got the animation of Fortnite. It's got the the PG friendly graphics of Fortnite. <laughs> Admittedly, I do like Fortnite's graphics more than I like PUBG's, but that's yeah, kind of my this my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, mainly because you can barely see PUBG's graphics because ninety percent of the people that play it play on very low settings. That's yeah, I, I I play it on medium. That's that's about as high as I can go. <laughs> To yeah, before honest, it just gets three oh, FPS. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, the worst part is it's working. So the game died, and so the game died in two months when it was first released because everyone was still playing Overwatch. People are still playing Overwatch. Don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah. yeah everyone realized, hey, this is just an Overwatch clone. I'm just gonna go play Overwatch. It's a way better game. And just recently, uh, February. February 24th, to be exact, they released Battlegrounds, and 21,000 people flocked back to the game. <laughs> there are actually... <laughs> How many people are playing the game right now? 19,000. 19, 19,000 people. Wow. Now, let's compare that to... I don't know. Throw out a game. Let's throw out a game. I'm going to compare it to something. Um, PUBG, because okay. since it's relevant... Okay, player unknowns battlegrounds. Player unknowns battlegrounds. Okay, ain't got nothing on PUBG. It's 40, 432,000. 432, yeah, but put so, that in contrast of oh, how Paladins is. Oh, yeah. True. Oh, my God. Yeah. I bet the, some people. The worst part is Paladins is still in early access. <laughs> Even after a few years, it's still in early access. <laughs> I don't understand. That's nothing compared to CS, CSGO's Prime thing. It's been in beta since, yeah. like, 2013. Or, um... What? Days, or DayZ. The creator climbed Mount Everest twice, didn't finish his game. <laughs> <laughs> you have that much time on your hands. Finish your goddamn game. <laughs> You know what would be kind of stupid? What? If CSGO introduced a PUBG mode. Oh, oh, that's perfect, right? Because there was some stuff found in the files with, like, battlegrounds or battle map and stuff like that. And then it oh. had, like, loads of, like, things you'd see in a battlegrounds game, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God help us. Yeah. 
There's um, already loads of mods, like, from a long time ago. Um, I don't know if you've heard of it. Go for the kill? Uh, like, I haven't heard of it. What's it called? Let me find it. I'll find it real quick. Go for the kill. Go for it's the kill. It's the number four, by the way. Not the... Yeah. Okay, um, go for the kill. Yeah, so, um, basically, it's like a mod where you just, like, join a server, and it's like a Battlegrounds thing, like, they've completely changed the inventories, they've changed the, uh, the way guns work, there's now bullet drop. I think you can, like, zoom in and stuff, it's really, like, it's really well made. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think Valve pro probably gonna just follow in their footsteps, probably add a few more things, you know, of course, because they're Valve. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing it on the workshop. I see run for the kill, uh kill uh, kill oh, no, academy. No, it's not the workshop, it's not the workshop. Oh, it's like an actual like mod. Okay. Yeah, just look it up on Google. Uh okay. No, I'll I'll search for it later. Right. You can search for it now if you want. It doesn't really matter, it's just an IP address. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I never would have imagined um, Paladins breathing new life, because I would always make jokes about how um, Paladins is one of the most fast-paced ga fast games ever created. It just died in two months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> most fast-paced games ever created. Whoever, whoever said that, um, have you guys played Doom? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Like, real, really, though, Doom 2016 is, like, to be honest, one of the most fast-paced games I've played. Yeah. Well, here's the difference between Doom and Paladins. Uh, Doom is fast-paced because, because it has fast-paced combat and the enemies just come flying at you. Uh, yeah. Paladins is fast-paced because it died in two months because people realized that Overwatch is way better. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's just a slight difference. Just... A tiny bit. difference. Just a not, just a tip of difference. Not not a big gaping hole in the Grand Canyon kind of difference. Yeah. What Anyways, else? um, shall we move on? Yes. What do we move on to? Okay, Trump meeting with video game executives over this whole video game causing violence thing. Yeah. I have some very strong opinions on this. I'm going to say that right. <laughs> All right. Fire them. All right. So I honestly think that the whole video games causing violence uh, argument is just bullshit. Uh, I'm not dismissing that they can't, but it, if if you're... Um, you can re you know this. You know this because you purchased... Because you actually go to a store, you purchase them, you put them in, the, you put them in a um, box that somehow renders them into a happy, fun time of playing games. Video games are not real. Yeah, that is my logic. And people, people say that all gamers are like murderers and shit, but um, eighty percent of gamers, or not eighty percent, but a I'm just trying to say a lot of gamers can tell the difference between a video game and real life. We're not stupid. We... We aren't... We know, we know what we we're doing. Stupid. We're stupid. Most of us. Yes. Yeah. Like Some of us, we don't. Of course, um... The, yeah. Of course, um, I would say don't let don't let like your like nine year old get get their hands on like Battlefield or Call of Duty or all those games. But hatred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hatred. I that's, own that game. <laughs> that's a game you really shouldn't let anyone, like even over the age of, not over, but under the age of eighteen. <laughs> To uh, yeah. actually yeah. know, yeah, I own that game. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> I mean, I I don't I don't blame you. Like, 
I, I bought it for like the edge. Of, <laughs> I, I do love me a bit of um, gory video games. Of course, yeah. you guys already know I love Doom. So I, yeah, thirteenth game. <laughs> you get to oh, yeah. you get to rugby kick someone's face. Someone's face. The head oh. just flies off. <laughs> like incoming. <sighs> I also like Bloodborne, by the way. That's another good. It's not, it's not really a gory game, but very bloody. You, you inject blood into yourself. It's yeah, in the name. You become Bloodborne. <laughs> it's like you know what's in Bloodborne? Blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's and in the name. People being born. Oh. I can I just imagine that. a review. That's you know what's in Bloodborne? Blood. blood. <laughs> the man, uh, expert reviewer 2014 <laughs> <laughs> anyways yeah um, b back to the whole um, video games causing violence thing um, I w I'm kind of I'm, I am curious how how uh, like what, what's going to come out of this exactly and by the way the people he are He's uh, meeting with, I'm pretty sure, are, uh, um, hold on one second. Guarantee. Uh, it said, <laughs> um, crap, where is it? I did think of a scary thought of what could come out of this. Um, like a, like a whole net neutrality thing that, that, that would suck. I, th I think Trump at one point said he might want to do that, in a sense. Like, I think at least I could be wrong. I mean, if it's, um, to an extent, there's no problem with that, at least in my eyes. Um, like, a 5% tax, that's going to add maybe a dollar. I don't, I don't know conversions. Let me do this. Yeah. Uh, calculator. Sixty. Zero point zero five. Three dollars. Huh. So. so that's so that's so that's like nothing almost. It, yeah, that's. Well, it's literally five percent of the game. <laughs> that's true. Yes. So. So um. The. In my eyes, the worst that could happen is he decides to put a tax on games, um, which, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to say the wrong good. shit. I don't want to say the wrong shit, because people are going to get salty like that. You, I am tight for money. I mean, I don't want to spend that, I don't want to spend the extra few dollars if I don't have to, but yeah. But you yeah. can imagine that there's going to be just an uprising against this. Like we're gonna have like, con we're gonna have like tons of YouTube content creators saying like, no, unacceptable, <laughs> fuck you. Like, no, that's not right, not right, not right. Yeah. Uh, okay. This di I did actually um when I was in high school I did do a paper on uh, violent video games. Uh, no. no, I just want to say like a, like a C on this uh, paper. Let me just I say think, that. I think I actually did something like that too, but I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, um, I remember reading it and I was like, "This, this is it. This is all I did, really." <laughs> I mean, I did talk. I did bring up some points about how. Um, some things are just completely overblown because uh, the first occurrence of video game violence was in 1976, where Exidy Studios, Exidy, just the developer of a game, a game called Death Race, made a game where basically you're in an 8 bit car and you run over 8 bit gremlins. And the whole. Uh, flack behind this was um, the 8-bit gremlins like stick figures. So people were like, oh my god, they're killing humans! Oh, 
And if you look, I mean, in in our eyes nowadays, where we have Grand Theft Auto V, uh, Hatred, uh, Call of Duty, and all these other games where they encourage violence, and I'm not saying that all the well, people, you know, what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. It's just like, oh my god, that's so silly. But back in the day, we had like lower restrictions. We had it was not lower restrictions, just. Uh, higher restrictions, I mean, of uh, what counted as mature and what didn't. Yeah. Um, I'm honestly surprised that uh, Friday the Thirteenth, Friday the Thirteenth, uh, the NES game, uh, actually made it onto NES. Because um, oh, it's Friday the Thirteenth. Oh no, it's violence. Oh no, there's there's sex yeah. in that movie. Oh no, there's there's tits. <laughs> Especially for the NES as well. Yeah, I know. Because this, this, I think this was around the same time period, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay, um, I admittedly, I do want to bring something up. What? Um, there, there was the, this one, um, situation. You guys uh, might obviously know what, uh, what it is. But, um, uh -huh. you guys know the Columbine shooters. Um, they played yeah. a lot of Doom, and they. Said oh yeah, they actually, I've heard about that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because like they've said it, things about like how the shooting is going to be a lot like Doom. One of the, mm -hmm. um, one of the shooters I'm pretty sure was an actual modder for Doom, and he made a mod of the school with like Ooh, the students and everything. God. Yeah. Yeah. That's some real like, that's some real Mr. like signs Mr. going Mr. off Mr. right Mr. there. Jesus Christ! Danger! Boom! Boom! Red lights blinking. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, by the way, the chief executive said he's uh, that a Trump is meeting up with are the chief executives of Bethesda, aka obviously the creators behind Doom 2016, Skyrim bunch of others yeah. and take two interactive aka the parent company of rockstar games oh yeah that's gonna yeah. be so, pretty yeah that's gonna be fun i feel like intentionally he's picking well i mean he does have the right to because these people these developers they do make the most violent some of the most violent games in the business but this is sort of hand picking this is sort of yeah. like being nicky picky or whatever. I'm surprised he didn't meet meet with like the bigger companies like Microsoft, Activation. Sony, or Nintendo. Yeah. yeah, the makers of Call of Duty or Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh yeah. God. And oh, Far Cry Five. Go. Who made Postal? Uh, um, hang on, give me a second. I have Postal in my library. Running with scissors. Oh uh, yeah. You know that off the top of your head. Yeah. Postal, oh my Postal God. 2 is like one of my favorite games in my Steam library, so... I've never played it. <laughs> it's a good game. It's I have it in my game. library, yet I've never played it. What do they do well, now? Uh, like, uh, the company who made it, what do they do now? Um, I think they went out of bit. They might have gone out of business after uh, Postal 3, because I remember that was a huh. bad, bad game. Oh, they didn't make uh, Postal 3? Let me, let me take a look. Uh, they made um, Postal Redux, which is basically a high-definition remake of classic uh, Postal. And it has uh, co-op, and this was released in 2016. And what? They only have, um, according to Steam, they only have three games, but I can look on Google. I'm sure they have more. Yeah, they're bound to have more. If they don't, I'm going to be shocked. Yeah. Running with scissors developer. Boom. Um, Postal Redux, Postal 3, so they did. Uh, Postal Babes, <laughs> Postal 2, Postal, and Postal Special Delivery. <laughs> Wait, what, what is was postal? that one? Like, postal... Postal babes? 
What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's a mobile game? What? What? Uh -oh. Who's this? Uh, oh, okay, no, okay. Uh, Good thing uh, my girlfriend's at home. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yep, close that. Clear my oh, history. God. <laughs> Actually, just delete the one tab. <laughs> Should get suspended. Oh, I don't want that. All right. Um. Now I, I, um, when I was younger, I used to think after playing like Call of Duty, uh, GTA Vice City, and games like that, I was like, have I become more violent and angry? But then I remember, oh yeah, video games aren't real. I know that. I'm smart. I got, I got a brain. Yeah. I got a brain between my ears, and I know, and I know, and I know what's in it, mostly. <laughs> Also, apparently he has watched actual like clips of violent video games as well. Um, yeah, I think I saw the clips that he watched. Uh, one of them was the Fallout 4 trailer. Oh, uh, why, why a trailer? I don't know. I mean, it, granted that the trailer did have complete gameplay, but there was no like uh, violence. It was just showing off the land and the super mutants and all that. There was no like guns or anything. I'm like... What? They should, they should they should have like Okay, what they I feel like what they should have done is get clips of people doing things that aren't violent in their games and show them and um show them to him to show that um not all these games are inherently violent. They do have violence in them, but Yeah, they, try Try, try looking at Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> that game's really violent. Yeah, if you think about it. I was gonna say Roblox, but there's just there's just so many access points in Roblox. <laughs> uh, hmm, what's another game we could refer to? I don't know. I have, like, no PG games on my computer, so um, I would be any help. Uh, I'm gonna look through my... Yeah, I'm gonna look through my games and I'm gonna see oh, if I have anything PG. Perfect idea. What Undertale? Because that... I mean, that still has violence in it. Yeah, but yeah. it's a game that promotes peace. So yeah, that is that is good. I mean, didn't didn't Matthew Patrick of a uh, game theory give uh, the Pope a copy of Undertale? Yep. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happened know. about a good. What was it, two years ago? So I don't know. Three, because Undertale came out in 2015. Let me check. So, well, uh, two or three, I mean. Game Theory Pope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, a year ago, apparently. <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. A couple of like weeks it's ago. Been longer was, than that, to be honest. I was invited to Rome to meet the Pope himself. Uh, published on July fifteenth, twenty sixteen. So let's say he gave it. He gave it to him on uh, in June, June of twenty sixteen. Oh. It feels like it would have been longer ago than that. To be honest. Yeah. I mean, but... in the description, he says a couple of weeks ago, and in my mind, a couple of weeks ago from June fifth is like uh, May or June. Uh, I mean, July 5th is like uh, May or June, in my mind at least. Yeah. Most likely June, though. Okay, what so, is another game we could mention that's not inherently violent? Portal. Yes. I mean, you do shoot, uh, ro you do send a robot into space, but who cares? He's a, he's a robot. They ain't got no soul. Plus, that's not even <laughs> violent, really. Yeah. That, that's Fucking just being a dick. Fucking robots. Don't care about no robots. They ain't got no soul. <laughs> okay. Um, most uh, sports games. Not most. All of them, I mean. Yeah. Well, not UFC. Oh, so. well, crap. Yeah. Yeah. And WWE. Well, mm -hmm. well, well, here's the difference uh, between 
the the violent video games and uh, uh violent sports games i should say like boxing um yeah. these are these are things that people watch for entertainment so if you start poking fun at people uh actually wanting to experience it in a virtual world um and they watch it on a regular basis and they're like hey that'd be to punch some guy's face but I can't do that because I ain't got no arm, so I'm just gonna buy UFC six. What what game? What version is it now? Uh, let me look up the most current version. <laughs> here's another th here's another uh, thought I have. Um, uh, I'm not saying that violent movies are good in and they're any better than a. Uh, violent video games but if you can access it on your television flip to a channel and you got vi you got violence you shouldn't be poking fun at something you shouldn't be poking fun at a video game for it yeah mm -hmm. true like um what's a i don't know what can i think of uh dead rising 3 that game is very whimsical with the zombies oh no it's violence it's got blood okay let's go on to amc what do they got oh they got the walking dead they got people shooting crossbows into zombies' eyes, and they got people killing each other with crossbows, and there's more crossbows, and... <laughs> I don't watch very much Walking Dead, okay? All I know is that there's crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... How do you sum up The Walking Dead in one word? Crossbows. <laughs> crossbows, Daryl Dixon, and sometimes Rick. That's not one word. Yeah. Uh, what? How can you sum up The Walking Dead in three words? May I ask you something? <laughs> <laughs> Is that character even still alive? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, if you're thinking like, oh, he just spoiled the series for me, I don't know. I don't watch the show. I watch yeah. quality shows like Nekapara OVA. <laughs> also, Don't Google it. <laughs> uh, no, another example of games that aren't violent inherently, the Need for Speed games. Yeah. That's like... Most driving games, though. So. Yeah. That's like almost a perfect example. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like if you... Um, this is going to throw some shade. If you have a really tight... Then you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's it's encouraging people to commit th crimes. They're speeding, speeding. Like, no, nobody's gonna be able to get like most of those fast cars in their entire lifetime. So, uh, yeah. I doubt anyone would try that. <laughs> yeah, unless you're, unless of course you're Logan or Jake Paul. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that is something they would. Most likely do. Well, mostly Jake Paul, because Logan's a broke-ass motherfucker now. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jake says... He's still on his but... Will he ever... I'm happy that he doesn't have it. We, yeah. We're one step closer away from eliminating one of the Pauls. The Pauls! <laughs> as yeah. soon as he's eliminated, I Everything am holding will be a... right with, uh, with uh, YouTube. Ad revenue will be back to normal. Uh, we'll have a good YouTube rewind for one. That'll happen, maybe, if the Paul brothers are eliminated. Oh. You want uh, that, I want that, everybody in the world and their right mind wants that. Since we're on I rest this. my case. Since we're on this uh, topic, and yes, I guess we are going to kind of move away from the whole Trump thing now. Uh, who are you? Who are your guys' favorite YouTubers? Hmm. Uh. Uh. Video game donkey. Video game donkey is pretty funny. I'll give you that. Yeah. I've actually never. Well, I have watched a few of his videos, but. Now I'm. This is actually honest to my heart. Um, I'm not just saying this because I. Pl I play with them most of the time. Uh, videocracy, spelled like a V-I-D-I-O-C-R-A-C-Y. Uh, they're a small, 
a pretty small channel, like 9,000 subscribers, I think. Um, but it's a group. It's a group channel where just a bunch, a group of friends. They play like uh, G, uh, Gmod, TTT, uh, GTA Five, Rainbow Six, and stuff like that. And the the comedy is funny. They they have good. Uh, what do you call it? Connection yeah. and everything. It's I like it. Oh, so you play with them? Yeah, they oh. play a lot. Huh. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I might have recognized some of their videos by heart, and sometimes they don't even remember. Like uh, one in particular, <laughs> the rules of the mountain. The rules of the mountain. The you know what the rules of the mountain are? No. Don't look at the trees. Don't smoke on the trail. And follow the leader. And if there's an ominous looking Willy Wonka, run. <laughs> Alright, so video videocracy. V i d i o c r a c y. Okay, I'm gonna look them up. Uh, I could after... put their channel link in Discord real quick. Yeah, I was about to say I'm gonna look them up after we're done here. Well, yeah. a, a little while after, because we still got some stuff to do. Yeah. Afterwards. I'm probably gonna play something afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna play an actual good Metal Gear game. I'm gonna play Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. It's like cleanse your eyes and your your uh, fingers. From having I did. Play... What? I did record myself playing uh, Metal Gear Solid Five yesterday just for shits and giggles. Um, I was on this one level that I've played before, and I remember struggling on it. And I haven't played this level in a long time because I sort of abandoned the game for a little bit, and I started playing other games. Uh, there's this one level where you have to get these containers uh, off of an island, and um, the only way to get to those containers is across a bridge, and there are two guards on the other side of it, and they're heavily... And to my knowledge, that bridge was the only way across, so I'm like, I'm throwing I'm throwing uh, ammo clips to try and divert their attention, but one of them always turns around right when I'm off the bridge, and, they're, and I'm just like, fuck, 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 fuck! Because I don't have... At the time, I don't have any weapons in my inventory that I can use because I'm more of a peaceful player. I go for hero heroism ratings, um, and I like to stay good. Uh, but I always, I remember doing this the la last two times I played this level. If I look to my right, behind the waterfall, there's a path that goes around, and I can go and I can go to the base. And I remember finding that, and I was like, ah. Fuck! I've been spending 20 minutes on this goddamn bullshit, losing credits, uh, heroism, and fucking sanity, and you're telling me that this was here? I was just like, okay. I got those crates, I got some, I brought some, I fought some soldiers back to Mother Base, I put them on some balloons, and I sent them up into the sky, and I caught them with an airplane, plane. Well, at least somebody did, I think. And then I went back to Mother Base, and I had, and I, yeah, that's how it went. And I, I was happy. I, I felt completed. No, yeah, um, I'm gonna go now. You're gonna leave? Um, yeah. All right, leave. we shall end this here now, then. All right. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And have a good day, fellas. Yeah. Pewdiepie! Pewdiepie! <laughs>